we're going to a couple who uh, live back in time in the 1930s. They have the fashion, they have the furniture, they have the look, they they've got all. everything to do with it. And they are, let's meet, Ruth Shelley and Robert Osman. And they love the 1930s so much that what have they done, Ruth? Well, they've ditched their modern lives to immerse themselves completely in the era. And as you can see, that is Ruth's home there where we're joining them this morning. Looking very dapper, the two of you, I have to say. I feel like we should smarten ourselves up, Eamon. Good morning. Uh oh Good morning. Hello. <laughs> you look great, Ruth. So, do you dress like that all the time or just at, at home? I, I do dress in vintage clothes all the time. This is quite nice vintage clothes because uh, we're, we're going out to dinner after this. But I do have ordinary day clothes that are vintage and I go right up to the other end. I have kind of floor length evening gowns a la Ginger Rogers. So, I'm always in this kind of clothes, but not always this fancy. So you say yeah, you're going yeah, out. Awesome. You say you're going out for dinner later. What kind of response do you get when people see you dressed the way you are? Uh, it's usually positive. You you do get looked at. Um, if if you're someone who doesn't want any attention and wants to blend in, it's not a great idea. But it's nearly always positive, especially. Mm. You know, you get people in their sort of fifties and early sixties saying you're dressed like my parents. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Robert, what is it about the look? of the 30s that appeals to you so much? Uh, well, the, the cut of the, uh, the suits, um, it's quite comfortable, really, a lot of the time. Uh, the, there's a, the, I'd say there's a lot more leg room in the trousers than in the, uh, from the 50s onwards, especially the 60s, you get a lot of the, the very sort of narrow legs and whatnot. You just, you can, you can move around a lot better. And of course, it's all, you know, actually British wool, uh, tailored by actual British tailors. I mean, this is uh, Montague Burton from after 1936, but uh, it, it's very comfortable. Yeah, I have to say, you you, you have that 1930s sort of face. Lots of people have a you know a, a face that will fit a certain period. I'm sort of very modern, so it wouldn't really work <laughs> for me. But uh, you guys uh, fit the bill very very well. I have to say. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I was uh, born extremely pale, spent my early teenage years desperately trying to track to tan, and then I gave up and went with it. <laughs> you look good. You look good, Ruth. So how did you two meet, and did you both have this love of the 30s, or have one of you inspired the other? Uh, so we met um, quite a number of years ago. Uh, he was on a vintage canal boat at a canal boat festival, and I was just attending it. Um, but we didn't date at that point. We just got to know each other. And obviously those of us that like this sort of thing, we tend to meet multiple times a year at the same event. So we'd always be like, oh, it's him again. Hi. There'll be a lot of people who are watching this morning and they will identify, they will remember some of the furniture around you. And Ruth, Robert loves you so much that he bought you a kitchen cabinet, <laughs> uh, which, which you spent lockdown do doing up. Tell us about that. Well, he, his plan was that he was going to do it up for me, but because um, we don't live together, during the worst parts of lockdown, he I wasn't was, allowed yeah. to come and see me. I have a, a health condition that put me in the high risk group, so I was especially I was shielding, so he couldn't see me at all. So I was delivered this unit, sort of happy Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> and I had nothing to do, so I decided to attempt to use power tools. It didn't go brilliantly, but I tried. <laughs> and I spent a good few weeks kind of refurbishing it, sanding it down, repainting it. And so now it's quite sentimental to me because it's got a lot of Robert and a lot of me in it. Yeah. And what about the rest of your home, Ruth? I mean, obviously, you're in the kitchen there. Is the rest of your home decorated in 1930s style? Uh, uh, yeah, it's um, mostly one room because I, I live in sort of a wooden log cabin you might describe it's quite unusual but i love it um so the kitchen is sort of a kitchen living room area behind the camera over there is my living room and then i've got a bathroom and my i haven't really got a bedroom my bed is in the rafters in sort of a mezzanine level so uh, i do my best and yeah the whole place is well look i'm having a good i'm the... having a good nosy around your kitchen area there but um i can't see a tv you must have a tv somewhere in the house but though hidden. Afraid not. No, no. <laughs> um, I, I do have a computer because I run a business. I work from home, but I don't have a TV now. <laughs> what about modern things then, Robert? Do you use any modern appliances? Um, 
washing machines are quite useful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot fault a good steam iron. Um, I've tried using the old cast iron, sad irons that you put in front of the fire and whatnot. Yeah, the the <laughs> you can understand why we've you know invented steam irons. You know they they, they work so much better. And large, are you generally happier in the thirties? Sorry. Are you happier with the thirties than you would be with modern day life? I mean, for, for me, no. I like living now because I can have the things from the thirties that I like, but I can have them now. Things like you know the the better health care and the kind of better rights for everybody. It, mm. It's so much better now. Yeah. It's just that I like the clothes and the music and the items, but I can still have those in the 21st century. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, look, thanks for, our, thanks for the little window on the 1930s yeah. and a blast from the past there. And uh, it'll evoke lots of memories for lots of people. Maybe they do live that lifestyle as well. Maybe it's a different period. Maybe it's the 40s, the 50s, the 70s. Goodness yeah. knows when. Thank Let you for showing us around. Thanks, Thank Ruth you. and Robert. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, all original, all that stuff. Not recreated no. or anything. All original, all there. It shows it lasts, doesn't it? Built mm. well. Mm, it's true.